welcome to the show. I'm Todd Taylor. And I'm Jenna Morton. And today we have an important topic mm-hmm. to, to, uh, to regale you with. I don't even know what word I'm trying to use there. <laughs> She's but stuck in the Highland Games I'm, mode. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm just talking about so many things these days. But I am very excited to, to kind of tone it down and talk about something that's very serious but also a lot of fun Mm -hmm. and that is the annual shoppers run for women that is coming up in june and to help us tell you all about the event and more importantly what it supports here in our community we are joined today by tammy rampersad hello welcome back to the show tammy it's so nice to have you with us again i'm always excited to be here thanks for having me thank you so you're uh you're in the depths of the run this year which is really exciting because it's something that jenna and i have both supported for years Mm -hmm. so we're really happy to have you be able to come on to the show today and tell us because not only are you helping them with the work of getting the run ready but you're also planning on doing it yourself, correct? Ooh, yeah, well, right. a walk. I'm doing yeah, yeah. Oh, I am team walk Settle all down. the way. <laughs> all the way. <laughs> no running happens here. <laughs> yeah. Walk. Um, thank yes. you both for supporting it for years. I, I know that you're hardcore supporters and, and runners, walkers. I appreciate yep, it. <laughs> I can do a mix sometimes. But um, I've supported it for years, too. I'm really happy that it's back in person mm-hmm. and that people have both options, actually, yes. in their comfort level and yes. where they sit in the province. Yeah, okay. that's really cool for this year. So before we dive too far into all those details, though, for anyone who maybe doesn't know what we're talking about, what what is this mm-hmm. event? What are we talking about? Awesome. And it's it's actually the 10th anniversary. Oh, which awesome. Which is very exciting. Um, so it's a Shoppers Drug Mart um, Run for Women event, which is a national event all over Canada. And in each area, um, so actually we're the only charity in New Brunswick, there's a charity attached and it's their annual fundraising event. And so it's the Run for Women Moncton and it's in support of the Beausajour Family Crisis Center, which is located in Shediac, but they service all of Southeastern New Brunswick and, and a lot of, all New Brunswick in general in a lot of respects. So it's a 10th um, annual run. The money that comes in uh, from the run and from fundraising goes straight to the center and uh, helps with all of their programming, but specifically to get their Little Courage uh, Center, which is a daycare for children who have experienced trauma up and running and is the only one in New Brunswick. One of the only ones in North America, yes, too. Mm-hmm. We went out, you might remember if you're longtime listeners and watchers of the show, we were out there last year with Crystal LeBlanc and had a bit of a tour. So uh, if you haven't seen that, we'll put links to that in our show notes afterwards. But yeah, what they are accomplishing out there is just absolutely groundbreaking, mm-hmm. really. It is. I, um, the other month, I was able to go for a tour of the center, too. And I'm somebody that considers myself in the know already, like you guys are, but I was still mind blown oh, yeah. with everything that the center provides, all the services and support that the center provides and into the future, how it can adapt and change to the needs is, is just incredible. Exactly. And I think a point that you made that we need to drive home is that it services the entire province. So you're not going to just find Moncton or Shediac, like you find people from up north down here. So um, when we talk about providing the shelter for everyone and raising funds for the entire province, that's why. Mm -hmm. And it's it's to help people who are dealing with various types of trauma and domestic abuse and they have various stages from the like very first line you know go there if you need to get into working with services to yeah. if you're trying to get back on your feet they have apartments and housing and that type of thing so it, it, it covers the entire spectrum really of the experience it really is it's so diverse and and it's not we really focus on women and children and and they tend to be the biggest needers right and and victims um, and, and trauma suffers, but it helps men too. Mm-hmm. Um, and and there's an area there where, you know, if you have shared custody, there's a safe exchange room that uh, they can facilitate, you know, that, that safe exchange where the child um, doesn't have to see both parents at the same time, or if they do, there's a mediator there, and it's a smooth transition, right? So they offer, you know, and, and Marielle, we don't want to forget about no, Marielle. No, no, yeah. <laughs> Marielle is there, and um, she's actually being used in Nova Scotia right now too because their facility dog has passed away and they're in the process of getting a new one Um, but Marielle is there and she has a presence in every single room 
in the center as well. Um, there's, you know, if you're a victim of sexual violence and you go in and you're getting your medical exam and a rape kit, Maria has a bed right beside your bed. Um, so she has an opportunity to be that support service mm -hmm. dog that she's designed for for every stage of, of trauma. Yeah. I've never seen a dog as well trained as, as Marielle is. It was really mm -hmm. uh, a pleasure getting to meet her last year when it we was. were there and just learning the amazing things that she's done for everyone, women, children, men. Um, and then to see Crystal take her uh, vest off when she was off oh. work and it was like, bam, <laughs> crazy <Yep>. puppy. It, <laughs> was, <laughs> yeah. it was really, really awesome. And I love yeah. that, that they're letting her to Nova Scotia as well right now because I know Crystal did mention how hard it was to get her mm -hmm. and how long they had to wait. Yeah. Um, so I can imagine what Nova Scotia is going through right now, needing to wait for theirs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and she, she's actually just took part in a, a trial um, in Nova Scotia and was lent as support. I believe it was a murder trial too and she was there for a child. So um, the work that she does is so heavy too, mm -hmm. um, but she's amazing. She is. Yeah. yeah, and it's it's sad. We're you know we're all excited because this event can be in person or virtual, mm -hmm. depending on where you're located and your comfort level. Um, but you know we're using those those terms getting back to normal. Mm -hmm. um, and COVID has has really turned our world upside down. We know that. And I have some stats to share if you guys are okay Please. with that. Oh, just, of course. Just so that everybody understands what the center is, is faced with on a daily mm -hmm. basis, right? And then what our province is looking like okay. too. So um, there's been an increase in demand, which is over 30% uh, for victims of domestic violence and their children needing services during the pandemic. Um, more than 800 victims of family violence, along with 264 children receive support from the center in 2021 um, and and this year it's expected to be even higher they've had to turn away um, 45 women uh, this past year and uh, due to lack of affordable beds and for the first time since their beginning in 1997 um, they've had to create a wait list Wow and they've never had that before so um, Marielle we were talking about her and uh, she's provided support um, to 200, sorry, 322 adults and children, um, you know, and, and just think about having her there for you when you're giving testimony or um, even a report with the police, um, mm -hmm. just that sense of, of comfort and understanding that she provides. Um, and we talked about the Little Courageous, the daycare that they're mm -hmm. looking to open and it being the uh, second um, trauma specialized daycare in North America and the only one in New Brunswick. Um, but for New Brunswick, um, we have the highest rate of police reported intimate violence in the Atlantic region. Um, more people are killed by their partners in New Brunswick than any other Atlantic uh, province. And more family related murder suicides happen in New Brunswick than anywhere else in Canada. In Canada. In Canada. Oh yeah. Wow. More than 85% of police reported spousal homicide victims are women. So um, we talked about the diverse services that are provided at the center, but think about those statistics and, mm -hmm. and the There's need. There's so much work to be done. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there is so much work to be done. You're right. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's right. why the run happens, right? So that they can get the money to do the work get the, the little Courage uh, playground ready and rocking and ready to go. But maybe in the future, I know they just built this facility, but maybe adding on, right? Yeah. Yeah. The need is obviously, obviously. there, but yeah, yeah you, can't, you can't just create these things out of thin air, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> we, need, we need money, we need funding, we need facilities, places. There, there's a lot that goes into it. So let's talk about a little bit of the, the lighter side yes. of how we can help with all of this. We yeah. can't, you know, we obviously can't solve the problems overnight, but the little bit that we can each do to help it starts with the run. Exactly, and that's why it's so important um, to take part, right? Just every registration helps. And then if you do fundraising on top, so we're asking for every um, participant to raise $100. Okay. Um, and that contributes so much. There's we feel sometimes like there's so little we can do, but mm. together, you know, providing that funding that's needed to roll out these services, that's us doing our part helping. Um, the fun part too is that we get 
the the sought after swag bag. I have uh, one here. Good. It's it's <laughs> chalk filled again. Um, Crazy. You can yeah, feel it's, it. It's oh, pretty yeah. heavy. It's over a hundred dollars worth of stuff yep. that they put in this bag each year. Yep. And like yeah, this Pull is some things little, out. Show it off. Like, Show it off. Try <laughs> things. Like, you're know. getting full size. Well, yes, you get yummy eats always. This one's a power crunch salted caramel. Yum disinfecting wipes, which are still, <laughs> especially going into summer, if you're a mom, you know those are gold. Those are gold. My kids are 10 and 7, and I oh, still yeah. carry baby wipes with me. <laughs> Ooh, body wash. Excellent. Full-size bottles. That's why I weigh like, so much right there. I like to yeah. say it's focus on pH balance. For the <laughs> oh, look at this one. Happy Little Bodies Eczema Body Wash and Shampoo. That's cute. Very good. Oh, two-in-one body wash and shampoo. There, there, like there are different things in this than there were in mine. <laughs> And so it's a there. good size, it's too. Right? It is a good size, yeah. yeah. You need some uh, sweet. Toothpaste. Yes. I love, yeah. Like, it's not Can like never little, like, samples. Yeah. These are full-size products you get in your spy bag. And if I remember correctly, if you sign up this week, before the ninth, before the yep. ninth. Yeah. June 9th so to do it virtually. Yeah, if you're signing up virtually, you will have had to like go back in time and hear this before Sorry. the deadline. <laughs> yeah, deadline's up. <laughs> yes, yeah, we'll share it on our social media and remind people that if you sign up virtually, you can get the swag bag if you did it before we air this podcast. <laughs> there you go. But if you come in person, Yes, yep. you have until June 21st, and the run is on June 26th. Yes. So you'll still be able to get the swag bag and your t-shirt, and um, there's a wonderful little bracelet for the 10-year anniversary oh, inside yeah. there, the too. Yeah, the finisher's bracelet. And the finisher's yeah. bracelet. You'll, you'll pick it up at the it's running room, and it'll be chock-filled with all the goodies. Mm -hmm. Are they they giving out these? This is the finisher's bracelet. And they're giving them out yes. now in the swag bags the instead swag of at the end bags. of the run. Nice, okay. Excellent, it's gorgeous. And you get your shirt. When you pick yes, up your you'll bag get as your well. shirt too. Okay. Yes. Yes. Excellent. Yes. And I have a nice collection of light blue. <laughs> yeah, me too. Shirts yeah. There. Can I admit something to you too? I am still going through my bags from two mm -hmm. runs ago because I can't get through oh, all yeah. the stuff in it. It's unbelievable. And I have yeah. two girls at home and a husband, and we're always yeah. picking through it. Lip balm oh, yeah. and these. These are hot commodities. So good. In my house, the mm -hmm. blister tape prevention stuff. They're amazing. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, there's always lots of really good things that when you finish the run, you're like, oh, my body wasn't prepared for that. You look in the bag, and you're like, oh, they knew yeah, that I they, wasn't they ready. Knew. Yeah, they knew that I wasn't there. ready. Oh, yeah, I'm never ready. <laughs> <laughs> Even when I try to work myself up to the 5K, no, it, it always... It's all right. Yeah. Forward is the right direction. It exactly. That's all that matters. Yeah. I wore better shoes last year, though. Last year was better than the year before, so... I have high hopes for this year. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Get your blisters. Your oh, blister yeah. I'm going to be using ready. My, yeah. my tape ahead of time. Yeah. Yeah. Put them on the back of your heels. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so, Tammy, where is the run slash walk going to be happening this year? Yep. So, the run is, again, um, June 26th. And it's a Sunday, and it's happening in Centennial Park. And um, everything will get started just before 9 o'clock in the morning. We'll have some greetings. Um, and then the run walk roll mm -hmm. will happen um we'll start just after that um we'll do some warm-ups and some fun stuff and get everybody moving it'll be um a lot of fun it's always so much fun and the energy in person is wonderful mm -hmm. and i think so many people that are signing up to be there in person will will really enjoy themselves um especially after the last couple of years that we've had right yeah mm. it really is um as someone that's hosted it for the last few years i am always amazed by the uh, happiness level in such an event that's sponsoring something that is, you know, yep. is not a happy situation. So uh, it always makes me uh, super happy to be there, to walk around, meet all the people. Teams are dressed up in fun, funky outfits and and their run shirts as well and and there's also some booths that you can go and check out there uh typically is like a, a yoga booth where you can stretch it out after the run um there's snacks that you can grab and um this year's sponsor new balance is uh maybe gonna have a booth there where you can check out some of their equipment as well mm -hmm. which is always nice so i do highly recommend even if you're not sure about walking or running sign up and then just come hang out <laughs> <laughs> I like it's that true. though. Yeah, it's true. true. Yeah. There's, no one, yeah, there's no one there with yeah. a little checklist at the end going, so, yeah. no, 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 you got to do another half kilometer. No, because yeah, you no. already <laughs> got your finishing medal. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's true. It, it's all about getting people to come together and support the cause. It's not, 
yeah, it's, it's not a competition. It's not, you know, who gets across the finish line first no. and not even, It's yeah. not about personal Make best. sure everyone gets yeah. across the line if they go in from the start, but. <laughs> please, we don't want to lose the Centennial sure Park. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll be there cheering you on, don't you worry. Yeah. Well, I, I know that you have, you know, uh, what did they, sweepers on the bikes yes. to kind of make sure that there aren't any stragglers because that's what my husband does. He <laughs> sweeps up after yeah. the rest of us. I have been on the very end of a run before with someone biking behind me and you can tell they're just like, hurry up. Because <laughs> <laughs> these people are people that are used to biking fast. Yes. But anyway, it was a funny, funny incident. <laughs> but it's, uh, it is really great. And the amount of volunteers that come out mm. and make this thing happen is unbelievable. Yeah. That's, and, and that's another thing that's so wonderful. I think it's um, people really care about the center and the services that are provided. Um, sorry. Um, and so uh, they, they want to give. So if they're giving monetarily, if they're, you know, asking people for their um, support and uh, supporting their fundraising efforts, or if they're donating their time, um, they're still contributing to helping every single victim that needs the support. Yeah. It's uh, it's fantastic. I'm excited oh, to be a part oh, of it. We dropped the lipstick. Like there's big stuff in here. Sorry, oh, yes. I get sidetracked oh, yeah. by shiny things. But I get the lip gloss drops. Speaking so of I shiny, that up. very size. shiny. Very, very I know it is. Right? It's gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. Lip yeah. balm and everything. There's a couple lip balms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's another one. Excellent. Yeah. Five star. Have we sold you yet? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what this is. I do I love, and I, I keep saying fun. how big everything is, yeah. but I, oh, the you referenced, stuff. like, it's not all the little samples, and I think what's great, and I had mentioned when I did the swag bag reveal, one of my, um, my youngest of three had eczema, and this is a really good size to figure out if this is the product that's going to mm. work for you. It's not a tiny little sample, and you really don't get a good feel for what that product is. They're good sizes, and then you can determine if it's something that you want to go purchase for yourself, and if it works for you and your family. Yeah, because yeah. you could actually get more than one bath out of that. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Well, and the other thing Hopefully. that I've done too, yeah. like you said, like yeah, sometimes it takes you a while to try to get through an entire bag full of stuff, and sometimes it is just products that you know maybe you've tried before and don't work. I just always package mine up and then send them back to the center or to mm -hmm. another program in the community that I know will pass it on to, to someone who will use it. So it, it always gets used one way or the other. If it's not going to get used in our house, yeah. we make sure that we don't, I don't let my children just play with it. <laughs> I put it aside and you know when Princess and the Purse and other things are happening, I make sure it goes back into the community. Mm -hmm. That's great. Yeah. We do have a Facebook page. Yes. Oh, yes. Um, so Run for Women Moncton, if you want to follow our Facebook page and we give some updates. Um, and uh, we'll be posting about some extraordinary teams um, that are, are coming together to raise quite a bit of money in support of the center and, you know, for their own personal reasons. Um, and uh, there's a website. So you'll register at the Run for Women and you search your community. So you will look at Monk you can register yourself as an individual you can register a team and then get your neighbors your friends family co-workers to join your team um, and all of that helps of course and you can also go on there and donate directly to the center um, you can donate towards an individual or a team but directly to the center as well and you'll get tax receipts which is Ooh, nice. lovely yeah yeah yep, that's a good selling feature for a lot of people mm -hmm. um, earlier you did mention run walk or roll yes so let that's important let's because a lot of people especially in an event like this there are certain events um, especially when it comes to runs or walks where they're so family oriented and this is one of them mm -hmm. right absolutely so you know it, it is a very relaxing atmosphere it's not the most highly competitive run <laughs> but if you are a competitive runner or even a competitive walker that's okay too you mm -hmm. will be timed and and you can you can work toward you know besting your personal best um, but there will be strollers there will be wagons um, all sorts of uh, family shapes and sizes that are out for support um, and it's, it's just going to be a lot of fun can we talk a little bit about what the route is? I know it's at Centennial Park, but is it like through the trails at Centennial Park? Does it go out onto the road? What's the, what can you share about the plan for the route? Yeah, I don't, to be honest, know? I don't know <laughs> the exact the route. Um, I know that I've taken part in other runs specifically there too, and there is the mapped out route mm -hmm. along the trails. Um, and I'm assuming that it's, it's really well laid out throughout the trails, um, but I haven't seen the actual 
Yeah. Um, All in due time. I, I, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. it depends. Out, out of experience, starting point's always been on Millennium. And then into the park that way and around. And then you finish back on Millennium. So um, don't quote us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking because this will be the first time I actually get to do it in person. Mm -hmm. I've been doing Good. it virtually. Yeah. So I haven't done, I, I remember years ago doing a different fundraising walk that happened at the park. And I think that was the same idea. I feel like we started on the road and then went in Into and around. Park, but I'm, yep. I know if I were taking the stroller or something, I'd want to yes. to have that better idea. Of, although any of the trails at Centennial mm -hmm. are, are pretty much made for that to yeah. begin with. So. Yeah, and, and we really are um, sharing that it is a family-friendly event and that you can roll. So it will be very accessible, for sure. Um, I'm excited that you're going to be there in person. I know. You're going to so feel I. the energy and, mm -hmm. and a totally different experience than doing it on your own. I did it virtually last year because that was the only option, mm -hmm. of course. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I felt great because I did my part, but it's so different when you're there and you get to share that energy mm. that's created by the whole entire group doing this wonderful thing together. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. But I love that it's still hybrid this year. So yes. for those people who aren't comfortable being out in a crowd and in a big group yet can still take part and still have the fun of having the shirt and, you know, feeling like they're part of the event as well. Well, exactly. And we all have busy schedules too. So even though we know well in advance that it's on the 26th, it might not work for, for mm -hmm. somebody. And then this is also a way because the reach is so far throughout New Brunswick, it's also a way for people in Fredericton or wherever else you reside to still support the run and do it in your own neighborhood. Yeah. Well, and I know that there, in the past, there used to be a lot of teams that would even come up from the Halifax area yeah. because this is kind of, this is the Atlantic Canada yeah. event for this, right? So, so yeah, it should be a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah. I didn't realize that it was the, the only one in the Maritimes. I didn't realize that Halifax didn't have one. So no. they should probably get on that. But anyway, no, keep no, coming to ours. We don't mind. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, so that wraps it up for today. Tammy, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. And thanks for really sh sharing Shining Spotlight on the center. Absolutely. Uh, so if you want more information, as we said, mm -hmm. uh, you can find it in the show notes. Get yourself signed up. Again, the run is June the 26th. So it is coming up pretty soon. And mm -hmm. you said till June 21st to sign up? Yep, 21st. Okay. Yeah, and you can go to Run for Women. Moncton yep. on Facebook and everything is there.